Okay, hello and good morning. Today our topic will be anatomy of the female genital tract. Um, there are external genitalia, internal genitalia and accessory reproductive organs. Okay, our focus today will be the internal uh, in internal genitalia not the external ones but I'll still tell you about the um, external genitalia a little bit um, there are uh, several parts in the external genitalia containing the vestibule clitoris labia minora majora and mons veneris here you can see them okay but our focus is not them today but huh, yes our focus is internal genital organs which are vagina uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries these are the ovaries then comes the fallopian tubes then comes the uterus and then is the vagina okay so first of all the vagina the the first part uh, in which uh, the penis is inserted it, it is a fibromuscular membrane sheet it is an excretory channel like the most uh, outward one and it is the organ of cupellation in which the penis is inserted and part canal of parturition and it is 45 horizontal to 2.5 cm in diameter and it is quite distensible here you can see here is the vagina so its walls uh, and furnaces you can see uh, here is the uterine cavity it is the cervical canal cervi canal and uh, there is a canal between the uterine cavity and the vagina which is called as the cervical canal and this part is known as the cervix okay and uh, this is the cut section uh, as you can see cut from the middle and this is the uterine cavity and this is the vagina and this is the posterior phoenix interior phoenix and a peritoneum surrounding and the peritoneum surrounding and uh, you can see there's uh, there are two um, openings of the cervix and internal os and external os external os is connecting it to the vagina and internal os is connecting to the uterus okay so its relations uh, interiorly there is a bladder and urethra here you can see there is uh, this is the bladder and the urethra and posteriorly there is a pouch of douglas here is the pouch of douglas and uh, this is the ampulla of the rectum and uh, perineal body and in canal basically it is divided into two parts uh, laterally, there is present uh, ureters, urethrine arteries, levetrinae, which is the muscles, and urogenital diaphragm. Here is the urogenital diaphragm. Okay. Its structure it has a mucous coat, submucous layer of loose areolar vascular tissues, muscular layer, fibrous coat. These are types of uh, coats present in it and muscles. Okay. Its secretion is uh, Tortillines, bacilli, lactic acid from glycogen, okay, and this blood supply. Uh, it is provided by cervical, vaginal artery, vaginal artery, middle rectal, internal pudendal, and the veins are internal iliac and internal pudendal. Upper one third is drained into internal iliac lowers, external, uh, middle one third is drained into external iliac lowers, and uh, lower one third below hymen. Uh, hymen is basically uh, the part which is uh, to be obliterated before sexual activity and uh, it is covering the vagina basically covering up the vagina and it is to be penetrated in order to copulate so they have supply uh, parasympathetic s234 sympathetic hypogastric plexus lower and put into nerve sensory so we will move on to the uterus uterus is the hollow periform muscular organ in pelvis as you can see this is the uterus and uh, as you can see it is 7.5 centimeter long 5 centimeter wide and 3 centimeter thick and it can extend according to the needs when there is a placenta form and it can go as much as the, into the abdominal cavity as well so uh, it has uh, parts uh, fundus, body cornua 
isthmus in the cervix I have told about you the cervix before and uh, um, it is the between an artificial and a historical internal os of Eshoff I'll show you and this is this part is the cervix if, and this is the vagina and this is the um, uh, oh, and this is the ovaries and this is the urethra and urethra has three uh, parts dome body okay and these are the fallopian tubes a structure is uh, perimetrium, serous coat, myometrium. It is three layers basically perimetrium, myometrium, and endometrium. Uh, in perimetrium, there is a serous coat. In myometrium, thick bundles of SM and uh, outer long middle interlacing in, in a circular. And, and in endometrium, there is a surface epithelium, lamina propria, and uh, decidua, and excretion of sc uh, scanty and watery. Okay, as you can see here, this is the endometrium, this is the myometrium, and this is the parametrium. Fembrii. Fembrii are the uh, projections, villi like projections, which uh, catch the uh, ovum from the ovaries. Okay, and this is the ligament, uh, this is the ovarian ligament, and here is the broad ligament, which is not shown in the current picture, and this is the fallopian tube and the fundus of the uterus. So, uh, relations uh, relations are three to vesicles and below it is separated from uh, UB from the loose areolar tissues. Uh, relations of them, we are seeing the relations of the uterus. Okay, and uh, here is the uh, sorry, here is the uterus, and uh, as you can see, there is a pouch of douglas behind it. Then behind it, there is a rectum present, and then there is the and bones uh, of the vertebral column present here and uh, above it, front of it, there is the present, present, present then is there is the pubis present and ureter is also present. So, as you can see, uh, here the broad ligament is it is quite broad and uh, the ovary is embedded inside it. Okay, this is the round ligament, this is the uterus, and this is the uterine tube, and this is the ovary, and this is the broad ligament. So, uh, blood supplies, blood supplies, uterine artery, veins drain into the internal iliac veins, the lymphatic nerves, the sympathetic motor, and sensory parasympathetic pelvic nerve. And they end in the ganglia of fingers. Uh, so uh, then there comes a fallopian tube, it is the 10 to 14 centimeter long, lies within the superior part of the blood ligament, and it has two openings, median tree, cornua, and abdominal cavity. Here is the uterine tube or fallopian tube or the OB duct, okay? And it they may act like an arm, and in, in the ampulla of the fallopian tube, the fertilization takes place and uh, and there's the different parts of the fallopian tube, intramural, isthmus, ampulla, and infundibulum. In the ampulla, the, the fertilization takes place, and uh, isthmus is straight in the narrowest, and uh, ampulla is the widest site of fertilization, as I've told before. Infundibulum, it is surrounded by fimbri, ovaria, fimbria, as I've told before, what are the fimbri? So, a normal tube, this the fimbria are present here this is the infundibular part this is the ampullary part where the fertilization takes place the, between the ovum and sperm and this is the isthmic part and this is the interstitial part and uh, it has three layers serious coat muscular layer and mucous membrane uh, serious coat is covered with the peritoneum outside is at the uh, attachment of meso me meso cell things and muscularly outer longitudinal and inner circular and mucous membrane it is uh, ciliated columnar epithelium thrown into folds okay in blood supply it is uh, supplied by the ovarian and uterine arteries and veins so the pan paniform plexus into the ovarian vein uh, its lymphatics are paraortic nodes which are present around the aorta okay which is present around the aorta let me draw it this is the aorta 
and the lymph nodes present around it is the paraortic nerves and uh, the spinal mesotrain and ovarian nerves to the ovary uh, it is appeared like uh, there are two in our body uh, female body not mine <laughs> that is for the joke and situation is situated on the other side of the uterus and close to the lateral pelvic wall they are in the pelvic cavity basically and uh, uh, they are present on each side each and uh, ovarian fossa of Algier size uh, is this and it only in abdominal section not covered by peritoneum and it is not covered by peritoneum um, it is uh, attached to uterine corner by ovarian ligament there are three different ligaments in the present in the ovary the broad ligament the round ligament and the ovarian ligament that is the pelvic wall the fundibular pelvin uh, these are basically different names for different ligaments and there can be two names for one thing as you know okay and this is uh, the ovary as you can see it is not covered by peritoneum and this is the uterus which is covered by the peritoneum as you can see and uh, this is the broad ligament okay this is the round ligament so, sorry this is the ligamentum of o ovary and this is the round ligament and this is the fallopian tubes and this is the fimbriae okay it has two parts the cortex and the medulla uh, cortex is designed by single terminal epithelium of volgers which is cuboidal epithelium and uh, tunica albuginia which is the white covering uh, and it basically um, de uh, deteriorates uh, after some time when um, the person is being developed in the development stages and it contains primordial follicles called because corpus al albicans and atriotic follicles and in materia there is loose connective tissue blood vessels nerves and muscles and in the hilus there is a homologous to interstitial cells of testes i uh, i haven't shown you the hilus uh, here is the hilus by which uh, the um, nerves and the vessels enter into the ovaries and this is a diagram in which uh, as you can see there's the primordial follicles and uh, there's a generating corpus to team and then the, it uh, releases the primary follicles which become into the mature sites and then the secondary follicle and this is the mature uh, ovum and uh, when it uh, degenerates it releases the uh, Ovulated oocytes and uh, it is uh, covered by the corona radiata and then uh, the remaining part is the corpus luteum and this is the corpus luteum again and then it then the cycle starts it basically goes like this okay and uh, it's uh, ovaries are supplied by ovarian artery veins uh, through pen peniform plexus uh, ovarian vein and the left left one drains into the left renal vein and the uh, right one drains into the inferior vena cava directly and its lymphatics are paraortic nodes i have shown before and nerve supply is from uh, from the t chain along the ovarian artery thank you very much for listening it was a very productive lecture i hope thank you